DCU welcomes students from over 110 countries, including Shepard Machea from Zimbabwe. But how he got to DCU is a tale more fraught than most. On the run from his home, Shepard sought asylum in Ireland and is staying in a direct provision centre in Port Leash. I was under persecution uh, from uh, the ruling party. I was being forced to partake of uh, the activities that they do in like uh, forcing people to join the party and forcing people to go and attack other people like uh, of the opposition parties and those that are not interested in joining the party. So I refused. If I'm not a polit- politician myself and I'm not interested in politics. So the thing is like when I refused, I then became an enemy to them. And uh, they kept trying to force me and I kept refusing until I became a target and they started persecuting me and uh, they were beating me up and uh, they took me several times and they tortured me until one day I just like uh, got a chance to skip out of the country. That's how I ended up in Ireland. After studying in Port Leash College for a year, he applied through the CAO to go to university but didn't have the money. Luckily, the University of Sanctuary program helped him out. I applied through the CAO and when I made my application, I actually put DCU on top. This is where I wanted to study. For some reason, I don't know, but I've just had some people like making very good recommendations about DCU. Then, um, well, I didn't have money to go to university. All of a sudden, like uh, we got a reception here, they put a link. Um, saying at DCU were offering scholarships. So I applied and um, thank God I was accepted. DCU took on 15 students through the programme, which has been a major success in its first year. We had a very successful colloquium at the start of September. We're running again our Mehdi project every week for two hours when we bring in um, people from Mosni. And we're doing a storytelling project with our DCU students. And there's all the few things going on like this and it's been really, uh, a really good energy. Shepard now plans to work in IT after graduation and his education is helping him to build a better life. I have learned a lot of things. I have been in school now, say, close to six months, five months, six months. But um, I've actually learned a lot of things, to be honest with you. And um, though I'm studying online, it's uh, a very, very uh, tough thing to do. It's very challenging. It comes with a lot of challenges. It comes with a lot of discipline, studying online. I'm studying on my own, spending a lot of time like reading. And um, to be honest, it has done a lot of good and made a lot of changes in my life in terms of like how far I can push myself. Michelle Townsend, DCU TV News.